Well, there's what about six months of high water will do for you. No water, then too much water, and now we're back to normal as far as the level. I'm going to go down here and fish one of my favorite creeks. I'm going to walk all the way to the headwaters and then fish my way back. Which I think is the appropriate thing to do. Shit, somebody drove down here. It's nuts. This stuff is soft. Oh, you sure tell there's pigs around here. Boy, they tear up everything. And I'll probably see them. Wow. One thing I love about this creek, man, it always clears up real fast. And people fishing it. It's deep going that way, but it's shallow up here. And a long way up here, it's shallow. But you can see how clear it is. Oh, it's a special place. We came up through here when it was absolutely at the highest level. It was going over the spillway. So it was at 258, which is 20 feet above normal. And we came up in this creek in an airboat. Let me show you some of that footage. It don't look anything like this, but that's why all this is dead. Here we're coming up on the bridge on FM 1948 and believe me that bridge is under there somewhere <laughs> you can see the signs that say no parking on the bridge that's FM 948 and we're gonna go up to the headwaters that was done to satisfy my curiosity more than anything else I have been up in this creek probably more than any other creek at Somerville. Um, oftentimes it'll be the first one that clears up. I have caught hybrids up in this creek when they got trapped in 2009. We had a big flood that year and a lot of water rushed down to the lake and a whole bunch of hybrids rushed up into this creek and the lake came down very rapidly and it trapped them and my nephews and I and friends and mine my brother hell I took everybody up there and we just murdered the, the hybrids on using fly rods catching them on the fly boy that was fun there's a deep hole and the last one for a while you can see it gets real shallow and most people don't go up beyond this of course there's really no reason to the fish will not go up in that shallow water and the lake continues to drop this is at normal level this is when the lake is at 238 you can see I didn't if I was to bring my kayak up here this is as far as I'd go I have to get out and drag it that's a long drag and that's soft sand. That's some pretty nice trails through here. Some of the walking's easy. Got all this rye grass coming up. Winter rye. All kinds of birds in here. Likely to see the eagles. There's an eagle's nest up here too. See there? Trees are coming out. I can hear the bees on this stuff. There they are. Yeah, there's some bees on this. That's what they're eating. There's another little hole. Creek makes a bend and it's deep on the other side of that. This has changed a lot over the years. continue up. There's a little feeder creek. I get across this. 
Oh yeah, I see. Lots of minnow activity in there. That's good. As you can see, we're close to the mouth. It gets shallow and muddy, I suspect. Any people tracks? Nope, not on this side. See how shallow that is? It's deep down there. That's that's what makes this special. Is it's not too hard to figure out where the fish are going to be. They don't stay in these in these shallow sections. They stay in the deeper water. So when I come back down, I'll jump across here at some point and fish that bank. But I'm only about two. Uh, a third of the way up the creek, so keep going. Oh, here's another. Here's another nice little spot. Got pictures of Harry and video of Harry on that bank over there. Right about, right about there. Using a fly rod, catching hybrids. 2009. Boy, that was a blast. That was an unusual situation. We got about, the lake was about four feet low, or maybe two feet low, and we got a 10 inch rain in mid-April. Normally that would be way too late for the, the whites and, and hybrids to come up in a creek to spawn, but they sure did. I mean, this thing came up, this creek came up, and of course it was bank full and it was raging for about oh, a week I guess after that 10 inch rain and a whole lot of fish moved up into it then of course <laughs> it didn't fill the lake so it came back down and trapped those fish we were up here all summer catching them boy that was fun here's another little feeder creek and this one's dry completely dry it dumps in up here These are important areas. It's good to know the structure, the lay of the land. I hear some puppy dogs. Probably chasing a pig. There's a lot of sign of pigs down here. Here's another little feeder creek. This one's got a little bit of water in it. This comes this this becomes a little more important if you're looking for crappie and the lake is really high. Look at that. It's actually flowing just a tiny bit, but it ends right here. <laughs> Goes underground right here. See it's flowing right there. Comes down here and goes underground. I'm sure it comes out at the creek right over here. This dumps into a spot that's a good good place to fish. It, <clears throat> or at least it used to be. If it's still deep enough. I'm gonna wish I brought a bottle of water, but I didn't. Yeah, this is another this is another nice place. I think this is actually this is the best spot right here. It's all fairly deep along that edge. You can see something moved off the bank there. Yeah, I'm gonna fish all this real good coming back. I'm gonna walk along the shore a little bit. Boy, it looks good, doesn't it? A little, a little more thicker brush there. Not so easy going. Well, that's the end of one good hole and the beginning of one very long stretch. There's one more good hole up here. Oh, there go some pigs. There go some pigs. I saw them on the other bank. I knew I was going to run into some pigs. But that's a long, long, long shallow stretch. I may actually be able to get down in the creek. But we'll stay up here as long as the goings easy yeah, I see there thing thing pulled my glasses off new battery in the camera and we're rolling again what oh, this side's a little too thick I'm gonna jump across the creek I'll wait across it hopefully I don't have to jump 
Not a very good jumper anymore. That's good and shallow right here. It gives you a real good idea how much water is flowing down the creek. Ain't much. That's where the animals cross too. Must be a good spot. You can see the beaver's been busy. That's a good spot right down there. The next one is right up here. Any place along that edge where it's deep enough where you just can't see the bottom, that's where a fish will be hiding. They have no option really. It's so shallow that any spot that holds any depth at all, well, that'll be where the fish hold. It's muddy. Oh yeah, I can cross right here. Jump across to the other side. Oh, look, humans. Evidence of humans. Whoa, that'll go some brim. This doesn't go over my boots. I don't think it will. Ooh, it's close. It's close. Whoa, stay on the high side. There we go. There we go. All right. Off again. I see somebody else has been walking up here, but that's been a while. That looks like it's been a while. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe I've got company. Well, I hear an eagle and I see a nest. Ha ha ha. Might have something very special to look at. Besides beautiful flowing water. Oh, I see a little bass. And I hear an eagle. Its nest is right up. Oh, there he is. Right there. There's the eagle right there. Yeah, not too happy with me being here, I'll bet. Oh, look at that. How about that? Just a walk the, up the creek on a Saturday, and there you go. The American symbol of freedom and bravery and everything. Oh, this is cool. See that? That's a deep hole. One of the deepest. You can kind of see some rocks along this side. The eagle nest up there somewhere. There's the eagle. Oh, boy. Oh, I'd love to see those birds. It makes coming up here all worth it. There's his nest right there. Oh, this is cool. And this leads... This particular thing leads into another very impressive hole up here. I'm going to jump back across. Back across here. And there you go. Look at that hole. Within view of the eagle's nest. And I think I see a chick. Look at there. There's a chick. Pretty cool, huh? You gotta get one of these badass cameras. Another little feeder creek. This is, this is where we were really catching the hybrids. This is the last deep hole. Well, technically, no, it's not. There's one more. It's at the, well, there's a, there's a hole at the bottom of the rapids, the rock outcropping. And there's a hole at the top where the two creeks come together. But this is the last one that the fish are usually in. <laughs> there you go, Harry. Bring him up on the bank. Good one. That's all right, huh? They're not going anywhere. Hold that fish up so we can see it. Come on, bring him up. Show us that hoss. These are hybrids in Jardell Creek, Somerville. <laughs> you can't grab my tail. <laughs> I 
in mid-May 2009. Look at that fish. Mm, doesn't that look good? Boy, this has changed over the years. I can't tell you how much the beaver in this hole. The rest of it should be shallow enough I can walk in the creek bed itself. But that is a deep hole, and that's where I expect to catch fish. But I'm coming back here in a moment. I'm going to go further up. Yeah. I can see somebody that was up in here by the tracks. Look, somebody came up barefooted. That's a rough dude. It's a fresh tracks too. <laughs> wow. There's some fish in there. Look at that stick. It looks like the head of something. The top of this run here is the headwaters. Won't go any further than that. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bunch of little fish right down there. Bunch of them. Probably can't see them. Just on the surface, they're little. Not really much to target, but there's a little. I can see a little cliff down there. That's all right. That'd be fun to mess with. Wow, there's a lot of fish over there. See them swimming right there. Lots of little fish. Little sunfish. Probably bass too. There you go. There's my favorite section of the creek. That's the end of this journey today. Or the farthest back I'm going. I'm only going to spend a little bit of time here too because... That pool has changed so much. <laughs> My kids have fished this. God, that was spring uh, 2005, maybe. I'll take you back to it. It looked very different. All right, I'm making a movie right now. Don't ease up there and start fishing. Ease up there. Come on, get in the big pool. Bunch a bunch of them out there, man. There's fish in here. Somebody needs to catch a fish. Oh, he's chasing it, Will. He's chasing it. Hey, put your pole together. It's on film. <laughs> put your pole together. Casey, try to chunk it as far up there as you can into the rapids. Make sure there's no goo on it. Good cast, good cast. Chunk it back out there, man. They'll come get it. Chunk it back out there quick. I'll get it again. Not a very good cast there. You got just about have to make it hit the bank. Good cast, Will. Bring it down that bank. There, there you go. go. Ooh, it's a big one. Oh, he came off. Good try, good try. Do it again, Casey. Try to get it right up against that far bank. They're hanging underneath that moss. There he is, there he is. All right, Will. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Way to go. Just stay on him. Stay on him. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. Bring him in, man. Bring him in so I can see him. Pull him up the top. Oh yeah, excellent, excellent. Excellent. Casey's got one too. Get him in, Casey, get him in. He's a good one. It's a white bass. 
You caught a white bass. What's he doing up here? <laughs> Good job, Casey. Good job, girls, boys, fisher people. There you go. Nice fish, Will. Nice fish. Oh, yeah, he's bleeding. That's all right. Hold him up so I can see him, Casey. You're on film. Woo! All right. Now that's the end of our movie. Oh, yeah. Took three minutes and 11 seconds to catch that fish. My little tree's gone. You can see the big sycamore tree. There used to be one out here in the middle. Watched it grow. Now it's gone. But then again, I when the lake was at the highest level, we brought the airboat all the way up here and we're sitting right here. And we could have gone further. That water was... This is 238, so imagine 20 feet of water up that bank, almost to the top of it. There was a lot of water in here. You know, pig tracks, deer tracks. See, that's a deep hole. I see tons of little sunfish in here. I mean, tons of them. Wow. They'll take. I got a. I got a special fly for them. A little bitty. Oh, I see bass. Bigger sunfish. I see what I think is a catfish on the bottom there. But this hole up at the headwaters here where the two creeks come together. I think I think one of them is Rocky Creek and turns into Jardell. Trees dang near completely exposed now. The roots are. Oh, he has really changed. Wow. Nice sidewalk rocks. bunch of bass right there see him swimming right there three of them right there all about eight inches long oh geez there's more than three good lord there's a hundred of them <laughs> oh, I hope you can see that I think there's a few sunfish in here <laughs> holy smokes there's thousands of them well, this is what I came to see there's a hawk. Greet me while I'm here. Oh yeah. Now, this pool is deep and it's big. I can see all kinds of sunfish and bass running right here in the shallows. Hundreds and thousands of them. Well, let's rig up the old fly rod and see what's biting. I'll bet something is. Oh yeah. Geez, there's a million little fish in here. That's good. Good for the future. <laughs> I can see them stacked up right on the surface right out here. Oh my god, there's thousands of them. This is going to be interesting. Oh, somebody got here before me. I can see all kinds of fish just on the surface. 348. I started just before three o'clock, so it takes almost an hour to walk up here. Look at this. I was just goofing off and I caught a fish. <laughs> I was messing with the camera and I caught a fish, a bass. <laughs> next cast, next fish. I'm gonna catch these little ones all day. Oh, there he goes. I had a hawk that was yakking at me sitting in that tree. You can hear him. There he goes. Now he's going to sit in a tree over there. Boy, this place is wild. Both of them right there. Yeah, this is crazy. 
They hit this thing like mad. We have had a full week of warm weather. These fish are so active. So very active. Number three. And number four is a brim. A sunfish. Look at that. Whee! <laughs> number five. Things are getting a little bigger. Yeah, a little bigger. Nice little bass. Boy, that fly is working. I got a whole pocket full of them and I'm probably only going to need one. Look at that. Right there. That's a good fly. It's a sideliner. Good fly. Thanks for coming. I'm getting a little nicer. Fought good. Man, I can do this all day, but I ain't got that long. There's a fish hitting it every time. Boom. It's crazy. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here and start moving downstream that way I'm not caught out here in the dark for these pigs just go across here there'll be fish everywhere there'll be fish in all this little ones lots of little ones I'd kind of hope to catch some white bass but uh, that's likely further down more likely than up here Something just attacked that bank. Oh, there he is. There's the bass right there. Oh, wonder who's sending me a message. Oh, lordy. Boy, there's a lot of fish in here. That's quite a contrast from the years where it droughted. Oh, yeah. Look at all those fish. See those bass swimming around underneath there? Geez, there's a bunch of them. There is a bunch of bass right there. That's when I kind of wish I had an underwater camera. Oh my god, there's a million of them. There is a bunch of bass right here on this point. Right there, look at all of them. You see those fish? A foot underneath the surface, there's some big, big brim and little bass. Oh, geez, they're all hanging in here. Oh, my God, there's a jillion of them over here. Oh, my goodness, look at this! Look at this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. See all those spots? That's all fish. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at them all. Spooked them from this far away. Oh my goodness, there was a million fish. Wow. Wow. Oh, they're, look, they're back. Those may all be little, but those will be big someday. Wow. I'll tell you, in every little hole there'll be bass. Every little hole has bass in it. Not very big ones. That is so good for the future, right there. It's like fishing for trout. Oh, did you see that? Fish turned it right there, right in front of me. Boom, there he is, there he is. Oh, he let loose. Whoa, go that way. Don't have a lot of room to work here. Oh, there he is. There he is, a little water, a little water bass. Boy, look how pretty they are. 
they get so colored up in this look at that fish they get so much color in this water this clear water got that fish 20 feet in front of me <laughs> get that fish man I can't tell you how much fun this is how enjoyable this is Chase it right up. Boom, there he is. Boom, there he is. Oh, caught him looking. Boom, there he is. There he is. Oh, little, little sunfish. Little sunfish. Nice little red-eyed sunfish. Actually, I guess that's just a plain old bluegill. No, I probably should fish that. I think I'll pass it up. I'm sure it's loaded with little ones, just like all the rest of it. There's a cat track. Probably a bobcat. But I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way down to the eagle hole. Where the eagle's nest is. That's a deep, deep, deep hole. And I can probably... If there's, if there's any white bass or hybrids in here, that's where they'll be. I know there's just tons of fish. I saw them. And it's fun with a fly rod, but I don't have that much time today. So we're just going to boogie, boogie, boogie. Go up here. Take the easy route back. This is right at the top of my boots. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was over my boots. Ah, feels good though. <laughs> it's rather warm today. It's in the 80s. What a creek. And if we get some good rain, bring it up a little bit, there may actually be some white bass in here at some point. Yeah. There's Mama Eagle or Daddy Eagle or daddy and baby or mama and baby or one of the two here she comes boy they don't like me being around here <laughs> look right into the sunlight here she comes This is hard to fish and watch this eagle at the same time. Just ain't gonna land, is she? There's the chick. He's a big old boy, isn't he? A little closer. See him blinking his eyeball. You gotta get one of these cameras. Mama almost landed that time. I'll be real quiet when I approach this little spot here. I'll be real quiet because I want to fly fish this. Not doing a very good job of being real quiet. Watch this. I'm going to throw a fly in here and catch me some fish. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. There's little fish. But there's always the potential for something bigger. that current from dragging my line away. Makes about two, three, four feet high. This is a good place to come and sit and just vertically jig fish here. Well, I've done that before. It's a hard bank on that far side. Like about a spot like this is I can hit the whole thing from right here, one place. Oh, they seem to have turned off a little bit. Yeah, that are just not as hungry this far down. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's on there. Oh, this is gonna be a whopper. This is gonna be a whopper. go nice little sunny on the sideliner see who can't do it again oh there he was boom there he is oh missed him boy oh, i sure like to get into a bunch of white bass but i'll have to fish a different creek I have to go to the a wall and right now i just too many people too many people. I would much rather have this creek all to myself and not catch a whole lot of anything than go fight the crowds. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Try a little different retrieve there. <laughs> I've got smaller versions of this sideliner probably work better for these smaller fish but yeah this is the one I had tied on using it in Cedar Creek worked good it's working good here oh, coming up on the next good spot hopefully it's good I may put them I may put the jigs through there instead of the fly rod I don't know we'll see you gotta watch this mud. Some of it's really deep. Doesn't that look neat? Another deep hole. It's held fish before. Let's see if it holds them now. There's definitely bass down here. I was just straightening out my line and he took it. There we go. Here's a better bass. Had nice bass. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Nice bass. Got pigs up there on the bank making a bunch of racket. And I got a pig here on the creek. Come on, fishy. Eh, he's about a two pounder. Maybe three. Uh, he's just a good fat two pounder. On the sideliner. Well, thanks for coming, buddy. Let's see if you got any friends. Maybe even bigger. That's what this creek is best for. It's bass, black bass. And from here down to the lake, I'll be able to catch a few like that. That fish fought pretty decent. Wasn't just full of life though. You saw how he gave up so quick. Sometimes this time of year they're not so full of energy. Usually they are because the water's perfect temperature. It's in the 60s. And that's just good. That's just good temperature. Well, this old sideliner fly is working good. Doesn't this look bassy? 
and it should be I'll be able to draw something out of there. You can see the little ones chasing it. Got to get a little more daring. Ooh, there he goes. <laughs> Saw something move some water over there. It's probably just a little bass, but check the back cast. I got plenty of room. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can't get a little action on this fly. There's a lot of, lot of movement on the banks. Oh, let's see. I may regret not crossing earlier. Get back on the other side. That's all good. That's deep enough to hold fish the whole way. Of course, it gets real deep in this bend. Oh goodness, I gotta walk around this. This ground is soft. Pigs everywhere. I guess I'll throw some jigs. I see a pretty good trail along the edge here. Open field, got some deer out there. And there's a lot of pigs in here. There goes the deer. See him running? Going through the pasture. Well, that worked out just about right. This is the last shallow run before the bridge where it gets shallow so on the end of it on the end of this long run is a nice deep hole that usually has some fishes in it let's find out if it's got anything today all right let's throw a few right here Ooh, that was big whatever it was Guess I should have come down here quieter. Wow, what was that? Well, let's see what's in this hole. I'll be throwing a rooster tail. But we'll do it with a fly rod. It'll work just as good. Just as well. Maybe. Pretty nice way to spend a Saturday afternoon. Just what I needed, really. Worked in the garden, got a few things done. Stayed around the house till about 1.30 or so and took care of business and I came out here. Peace and solitude. Just what I'm after. Oh, good. Across the creek right here at the last pool. Walk straight back to the truck. Right that away. Piece of cake. What a day. What a day. Oh, last little bit of the journey. There's my little red truck. And there we go. Got it all wrapped up. Sun's down. Still beautiful weather. It's still about 70 some odd degrees. Warm.
is Rich Lewis get there at the Hammond B3 with the band. If you recognize that tune, that's a Leo Kotke tune called Fisherman. The Fisherman. So glad these guys could uh, come join us here. They came up from uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, played in Iowa last night, got in at 3 o'clock in the morning here to do a dance tonight at the Eagles Club, South Minneapolis, 25th and 25th, nominated for a Grammy this year in the Roots uh, category. Uh, Daniel Kulik here on the fiddle and the uh, guitar, actually guitar now. Glenn Fields back there on the drums. Eric Fry on the bass. And the Chris Miller is playing saxophone as opposed to all of the other Chris Millers around who play other instruments, the saxophone or whatever. And Chaz uh, Justice is uh, right there. And Blake Miller on the accordion. And, uh, and, 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 and the fiddle, uh, this time the accordion, all right? So how was Mardi Gras down there? Where were you, where were you from Mardi Gras? 